It's your boy Revolution and Cuz. I am your favorite freedom fighter, favorite freedom fighter, thugging it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch nigga about me. You dig? All right, New York City's on a come up. The last time New York City been popping the dips of era, Trinidad and James. Facts though. Now I'm kind of uh, proud of uh, J.R. Ryder, of course, Harrell, who's been having fucking downfall after downfall, A Mafia, and of course, 40 Cal for coming out with that upstage album, you dig? I guess uh, Dipset, The Diplomats, basically Cameron, Jim Jones, Jewels, came out with an album, but didn't include the other Dipset out, the Dipset artist. And I, it, their album was all right. I like how they brought the album in with Heat Makers, you know, that's who basically started off their Dipset career with the beats and shit. Bronx natives. But um, Diplomat Muni wasn't the same without the rest of the artists. Harrell came with his vicious flow, fresh out of jail. 40 Cal with his punchline. J.R. Ryder with his slick flow. For y'all to come out with an album and just have those key players, mm, wasn't as popping as these other niggas' albums. Shout out to them niggas that know J.R. Ryder just came out of jail. Like, fuck the reunion. They gonna do their own thing. And I spoke to 40 Cal a couple months ago. He was like, he's retiring out the rap game. So I'm proud, kind of kind of happy and proud to see my nigga back active doing his thing because he was one of the most underrated niggas from Dipset, you dig? I didn't see SAS, I didn't see Jaja, but I seen them niggas. So, you know, salute, salute. If you haven't checked out the album, go check that shit out now on every major new media platforms. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Revolutionary Cuz. Like the Facebook fan page, The Revolutionary Cuz Show. Until next time, it's going to be your boy, Triples.